morning, everyone. This is Elaine from Annabella's. Welcome back to Tuesday Tidbits. Today, I'm gonna to quickly share some tips on how to choose the correct needle when you're stitching and why the size of the needle matters so much. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you like what you see and that you'll consider subscribing and ringing the bell above. That notification bell will just let you know when I have a new video released or some news to share. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back and bearing with me during what I call my Nashville hiatus. Um, I finally see the light at the end of the tunnel, so it is really great to be back with you. And if you are new, Tuesday Tidbits are just a little segment that I do um, every Tuesday, just quickly, 10, maybe 15 minutes long. And it's just some tips and tools and cross-stitch hacks that I've picked up along the way as I've been stitching for many years, um, since I was 12 years old, actually. So I just like to give you some things that might help you on your cross-stitch journey. And today I thought I would talk a little bit about tapestry needles and why, um, you know, we are careful about what size we use when we stitch. So let me tell you a little bit about tapestry needles, um, just a little tidbit. Basically, tapestry needles come in different sizes, and the size of the needle is donated by a number, just like knitting needles. So what I have before you are size 24, 26, and 28 tapestry needles. And unlike knitting needles with tapestry needles, the larger the number, the smaller the needle. So size 28 is the smallest of the three that I'm showing you, then 26, and then 24 would be the largest. And the size of the needle you use basically depends on the fabric you're stitching on. So in general, the larger the holes in the fabric, that is the lower the fabric count, the larger the needle. So the purpose of the needle is to help guide the thread through the fabric. If the needle is too big, what happens is you push apart the threads of the fabric and you make a hole bigger than you need um, and your stitching thread may not fill it. And if the needle is too small, what happens is it causes wear and tear on your stitching um, on your threads. So over the years, I've tried a bunch of different needles. Um, and what I found is my favorite is Boheen um, needles. These are from France. And I just really love the quality and the price and particularly how the needle slides through my fabric. So this is size 24 and I'm gonna put a little chart uh, for you at the end of this video that you can maybe take a screenshot of and print out. And the chart will tell you what size needle to use based on what size thread count. So for a size 24 needle, um, we use this primarily on 14 count Ada um, or 28 count linen. And size 24 needle has a little bit uh, bigger hole here for you to thread. Um, let me open this a little bit for you so that you can see these, Let's see? So it has a little bit of a bigger hole, uh, which makes it really easy for you to thread your needle. And again, you use this size needle on um, 14 count uh, Ada or 28 count linen. Then on um, 26, a 26 uh, size needle, uh, you would use this on a 16 count fabric or 32 count linen. And as you can see, let me gently open this. As you can see here, you know, the eye of the needle is a little bit smaller, okay? So you might need to use a needle threader. Um, I do use needle threaders quite a bit. Um, I get very frustrated <laughs> when I can't get my stupid floss to go through the needle. It drives me crazy. So I'll show you the needle threaders that I use in just a minute. And then last, what I'm showing you today is a size 28 needle. Um, these needles are, are more tiny. Um, the eye of the needle is very small. Um, and this is used primarily on 18 count Ada or 36 count linen. 
So um, I just thought it would be important to kind of point out why it is so, so important. Now that doesn't mean that you can't stitch, um, you know, on 14 count using a 28 count needle. I suppose that you could. Um, but if you're really trying to preserve uh, your fabric and trying to preserve um, the way the thread uh, goes through the fabric uh, with a needle, you really should try to stick with the needle that's appropriately made uh, for that fabric. And like I said, I love Boheen. Um, these needles are great. I sell them in the shop, um, but I also carry other brands too. Uh, we also carry DMC which is very popular. I have a lot of these in my stash. These happen to be the DMC gold-plated. Um, sometimes I'll have the gold-plated and sometimes I won't. Uh, it just depends what's available. Um, these have a round edge and they're kind of blunt. Um, but these are great too. So, you know, it really is a personal preference. Um, you can try both and then see which ones you like. And then John James also has uh, needles as well. So when it comes to threading your needle, um, I just use these really inexpensive uh, needle threaders. Um, if you've gotten happy mail from me in the past, then you've probably received uh, these in the mail from me. Um, this is a tulip needle threader. Uh, there's two in this package. And then this is a John James. And basically you just take um, the little metal um, eye here, you stick it through your needle, put your thread in, and then gently pull it back through the needle. And there you go. And no, I'm not gonna demonstrate that because it's pretty easy to do. And then lastly, what I wanted to share with you is that I do use a needle minder. Um, needle minders, if you're not familiar, uh, or needle nannies, um, these just help you keep your needle safe uh, when you're stitching rather than thread it through your fabric. Um, I used to do that for many years. I would just take my needle and thread it through my fabric. And what happens is it makes holes in your fabric and those just can be a little bit unslightly. So I'm not gonna take a needle out, but I'm gonna show you how strong these magnets are. Um, this slides right off. These are super, super strong <laughs> magnets. Um, you, you can just see, you know, how strong they are. So this goes behind your fabric, this goes on top of your fabric, and then boom, that will sit right at the top. And this is a pack of fabric of needles, and you can see, look at that, it holds all of them. So you can be sure that it will very carefully, you know, safely secure your one needle that you're using while you're stitching. So these needle minders, um, I love this Hello Spring one. I, I happen to have, I think, six or seven of these left. I'm gonna keep this one for my myself um, as I begin to stitch for spring. Um, but there you go, just a little bit about these needles and why I choose, um, you know, to be careful about what count needle I'm using as I'm stitching. Um, let's see what else I can share with you today. Um, that's it really. Um, I hope that you will tune in on Friday. Friday is when I do my regular floss tube channel, uh, my floss tube video, and um, we do that every Friday, and then Tuesday tidbits are every Tuesday. So I hope you've enjoyed this very, very quick session of Tuesday tidbits. I hope to see you next week um, on Friday for floss tube, and until then, I hope that you get in lots of time to stitch, and you get to do all the things you love with the people you love the most. Until then, my stitchy friends, be happy, be well, be safe, and most of all, be kind. See you soon. Bye-bye.